Welcome back. The number of cases of breast cancer could almost double in the next 10 years. That stark message came from experts as countries around the world marked Pink Ribbon Day. It's not often you get hundreds of teenage schoolboys competing to have the prettiest pink outfit, but this was Pink Friday in the all-boys Moyle Park College. The school in Dublin's Clondalkin was doing its bit to raise awareness of breast cancer. Is it hard getting hundreds of boys to dress up in pink? Obviously not. Um, yeah, no, they love it and they're more creative every year and they go all out and they raid their sisters' wardrobes and they raid everyone's wardrobe. And it's nice because the teachers and the students get to do something fun together. Did you feel embarrassed dressing up in pink today? No, it's, it's a bit on the bus now, that was right at the end. You're on the bus dressed like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was a great idea for cancer research and it actually proves that like, even though you're not a girl, it, it, it's great for diversity and all of that. <laughs> Events like this are all part of Pink Ribbon Day, an annual fundraising event for Action Breast Cancer. Irish women stand a 1 in 10 chance of developing the disease at some stage in their life. It's the most common form of female cancer. Around 2,800 new cases are detected each year and the Irish Cancer Society has warned that that could almost double by 2020. Sue McDermott is Moyle Park's former secretary and is terminally ill with the disease. It's, uh, it's not curable what I have. Um, the average life expectancy for my cancer, I don't want to scare other people with cancer because it's not all the same, but the life expectancy uh, is on average three years and I'm five years now and I'm still very well. Um, I'm actually cancer free at the moment from the treatment, um, but they say it will come back. Women and young men dressed as women are being urged to be vigilant as early detection is key to surviving breast cancer. Stephen Murphy, TV3 News.